How do you make the sound of a raging bull? <laughs> Thinking about those old Bugs Bunny cartoons, those Looney Tune cartoons where they have the bull and the bullfighter. Oh, it's a generational thing. Hi, welcome into the Fun Astrology Podcast. Thomas Miller, we are celebrating Jupiter moving into Taurus today. The planet of raging moves into the bull planet Taurus. 1.20 p.m. this afternoon, Eastern Time. By the way, tomorrow the moon is right on its heels. Tomorrow the moon enters Taurus at pretty early, 7.27 in the morning Eastern. That's significant because obviously the moon is waxing or moving toward that now. And you get triple Taurus energy because the sun, obviously, then Jupiter, then the moon. You know, sometimes we have to step back away from the technicalities of the chart. You know, I've just really haven't been able to kind of shake all this negativity that I've been seeing in the astrological community. And you yet you look at this chart and you step back away from it and you get away from the, oh, how do you interpret 29 degrees? And what about the sun getting ready to enter Gemini and all this? And you just look at what is this chart telling us? It's telling us to stay very firm and grounded and strong and resolved. It's a passing, fleeting few moments, really, with hours with the moon in there. And it's just saying, this is a time for grounding. It's time to remember. Plant your feet. Don't get caught up in the drama. Does a raging bull get caught up in what's going on around him? No. <laughs> fixed focus. And if you happen to be the object of that fixed focus, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like you're the one getting ready to get plunked over the fence. Then you know what focus is all about. And movement forward. All of that is represented in this little snapshot in the sky. Now, Taurus also rules finances and money and everything about the financial markets. So I promised yesterday that we would talk about other transits of Jupiter through Taurus. What happened from the market perspective? And it's a mixed bag. OK, so let's walk back the previous one, 2011. That was really kind of the staging year before the big bull market took off in 2013. That was a bridge period in there, 2010, 2011, 2012. Those were the years after the big recession. Everybody went, boy, wow, what was that? We guess we got through it. We're all still here. But then abundant prosperity. I mean, jobs and then all that money was pumped into the economy, of course, which we're paying for now. But that was the period that was kind of the bridge years. And then after that, pretty good markets if you were trading at that time. Let's walk it back further. 2000 was the last time. Before that, that Jupiter was in Taurus, and that was the bursting of the dot-com bubble. And that was really dot-com 1.0, because these were the years of AOL, and we were just getting into broadband from dial-up internet. Yahoo was probably the, Yahoo and AOL were probably the big two. They were like the equivalent of Apple and Google today. And that whole cascade tumbled between 2000 and 2002, tumbled big, Jupiter and Taurus, and the NASDAQ, the tech stocks, stayed down for 10 full years. It was a decade before they returned to their pre-2000 levels. I mean, I think people today can't relate to that, and yet it has happened. Now let's walk it back again. 1988, actually a very strong, powerful up year. That was the rebound after the big 1987 flash crash on Monday, October 19th, the day I'll never forget. That market dropped 22.5% that day. But that wasn't Jupiter and Taurus. Jupiter was still in Aries at 24 degrees on that day. But the market almost pivoted instantly. So by the time Jupiter was in Taurus, it was on its way up. And Jupiter just continued that. Let's walk back one more, then we're done. 1976. Now, this was a big market down period. From 1976 to about 1982, the market was pretty much pitched straight down for most of six years. That was post-Watergate, hyperinflation. And actually, I think the period that most parallels where we are today was that one. Back then, we had the political aftermath of the Richard Nixon resignation. Today, we have political disarray. Back then, we had hyperinflation. We certainly do again today. So, yes, the merits are there for a more difficult Jupiter transit through Taurus this time. 
But this could also be a great time for new launches. It could be a great time to add additional revenue to your monthly income. How many times have I said side hustle, you know, develop multiple streams of income? Well, we're going to sit in that for a full year because Jupiter does not exit by retrograde this time. It stays in Taurus for the next year. So we focus on these areas, the money, the relationship, the grounding, the stability, the firmness. So these are great times to do all of the above. So while you're starting your new business, start a yoga practice. Eat cleaner. That's something I've been doing. Oh, I'll have to tell you about that sometime. I really have made a turn on the food that goes into my body, and I'll tell you what made the difference. So we have a year here to really dig in deep on some of these areas of our life that make us stronger and better and more useful in the service of this transition. Now, let's don't forget, as Jupiter moves across that line at zero degrees Taurus, what's it going to do? But it's going to square Pluto in retrograde at zero degrees Aquarius. And that is a square. And that is exact tomorrow. So we'll leave that to tomorrow's business. But just know it definitely is in the air today. Have a great one. Celebrating Jupiter entering Taurus. Stay grounded.